Feel free to look Outlaws, Ashta, those bandits from the shop. I'm sure I got what you I spent significant time here meeting the smugglers. Brings back memories. You lost?
enough to do Miss Lance here. is the one you want to speak to. Thank you again for all you've done for the retreat. Now, was there something I could help you with? Here's what I have in stock right now. We're asking everyone to take care. Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing. Okay, sure. We'll take care. out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes, obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute-forcing it. A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Or, who knows, some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. Just be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess, and cleanup isn't cheap. Good luck. 
I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yes? Keep an eye on your valuables. in my neck of the woods. Your department needs something? Sorry, but as you should know, the only person I'm authorized to hand over my keycard to is my superior officer. I find it hard to believe that you'd have orders I'm unaware of. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. Oh my god, you're serious, aren't you? That's typical. You try to be nice to someone, and they treat you like a pushover. Here's the card. Just make sure you give it back when you're done.
I heard you'd exercise that creative license, only not the way I'd hoped. Got that key card for me? Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. Well, except for your little incident, that'll cost you. Incidents aside, I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. You may as well question the entire corporate world at that point. Just think of what we do here as standard business practices. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astral Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astral Lounge without anyone taking notice. Exactly. And since you seem to be familiar with him, you probably know how much we don't like to upset him. If you haven't already heard the name Benjamin Bayou, you'd better get familiar. The man runs Neon and has ties to anything significant here, including Ryujin. The Trade Tower is his baby, and the Astral Lounge is the heart and soul. You do anything to scar that and make a scene, I guarantee it'll come back to haunt us. I thought that might spark interest. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergies Executive Director Zola Adisa and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she is drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Lucas Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grab drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. 
Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us. And Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers though. Sometimes bullet pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. We're looking for optimal results, which won't be achieved by luck alone. Our team has crafted these dossiers based on psychological profiles, observation, and past history. Neglecting them would be highly irresponsible. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. We got lucky on that one. Nina was making some last-minute changes to it at her own home and happened to save it to her personal data storage. Of course, we were able to access it, so we fabricated our own with new figures and put it on an Infinity LTD slate. Assuming she's using an Infinity LTD slate is a bit of a gamble, but one we're willing to take. Exactly. And that incompetence will be enough for them to further question this deal. Finally. I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? Business executives aren't going to take advice from just anyone. Show up looking like an Ebside street rat or mercenary for hire, and you're lucky if they'll even acknowledge you. I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Aster Lounge distract you too much.
Another day, another ship. You're out there a lot, right? In space? came dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? I could tell from the look of that suit, you are dressed to impress. I doubt the people we are meeting will look half as good. Ryujin Industries, a good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched Infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now, so it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. 
The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you. And I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Not sure if those for room sell its living space or got separated. You can succeed at that before we are discovered. the person I wanted to see. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. Only as common as the flawless assignments you pull off. 
No one wants to clean up a mess. It takes a toll on several departments, which is why we like to promote a clean assignment. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter.